So we have a question here that kind of leads us down a path that we don't need to go down. But we'll go ahead and we'll read the question, then we'll work through the information that we have. A company is in the process of considering various methods of raising additional capital to grow the company. The current capital structure is 25% debt, totaling $5 million, with a pre-tax cost of 10%, and 75% equity with a current cost of equity of 10%. The marginal income tax rate is 40%. Okay, that's our information, how much debt we have, how much equity we have. The company's policy is to allow a total debt to total capital ratio of up to 50% and a maximum weighted average cost of capital of 10%. And then we have two options. The first option is to issue debt of $15 million with pre-tax cost of 10%. And the second option is to offer shares to the public to generate $15 million cost of equity is 10%. And so the question is going to be, which option should the company select? Now, before we even look at the choices, let's just kind of look at some of the information that we have here. We've got two criteria really that we could be looking at. The first is the weighted average cost of capital. And they tell us that the maximum weighted average cost of capital is 10%. And then the other requirement is that the total debt can be up to 50% of the total capital. And so those are the two criteria that we were given that we need to work within. Now, if we look at the total weighted average cost of capital, they say it can't be more than 10%. Well, right now we have debt that has a pre-tax cost of 10%. And we know with debt that the after-tax cost is gonna be less than 10%. And our current cost of equity is 10%. Well, the two options that they give us have a 10% cost of capital for the debt and equity. And again, that's a 10% pre-tax cost for the debt. So we know that there's no chance that the weighted average cost of capital would go over 10% with either of these options. The current weighted average cost of capital is less than 10% because the after-tax cost of debt is less than 10%. And the new debt that we would issue would be less than 10%. And the equity is at 10%. So none of the options, neither of these options would cause the weighted average cost of capital to go above 10%. And so what we might be stuck looking at then is this debt to total capital ratio that cannot be more than 50%. Our debt cannot be more than 50% of our total capital. And let's just kind of get the amounts right now. Okay, they tell us that right now debt is 25% and it is $5 million. Okay, so if the debt is 25%, we know that the equity is 75% and they, they actually tell us that, but they don't tell us how much equity we have. Well, that's easy to solve for if 25% is 5 million, then we know that right now we have $15 million of debt or of equity gives us total $20 million. And of that debt is 25%. Okay, so that's a lot of information there. Now let's go ahead and look at the choices and then we'll do the math. So our first choice A is option one because it has the lower weighted average cost of capital. Okay, well, maybe the weighted average cost of capital is 7.72%, but that doesn't mean automatically that that's going to be the correct answer. Option one, because the equity to total capital ratio will be 43%. Option two, choice C is option two, because the equity to total capital ratio will be 86%. And choice D is either option one or two, because both will yield a weighted average cost of capital of 10%. Well, we know that the weighted average cost of capital will not be 10%. It'll actually be less than 10% because the debt has a cost of debt of less than 10%. And there is some amount of debt in our capital structure. So we know that choice D is wrong. Now, let's look at option or choice B here. Option one, because the equity to total capital ratio will be 43%. Well, if the equity to total capital ratio is going to be 43%, that means that the debt 
the total capital ratio will have to be 57%. And we know that the debt to total capital ratio can't be more than 50%. So choice B is wrong because if, we don't know what it will be, but if the equity to total capital ratio will be 43%, that means that the debt to total capital ratio would be 57%, and we're not going to be able to, to do that. That's not allowed. So we're gonna to have to do some math here, and here's all the information that we're given that's relevant. I pulled this out of the question. The total, or the current capital structure is 25% debt with $5 million, and 75% equity in the weighted average, or the cost of equity 10%. Marginal income tax rate is 40%, and again, we can allow a total debt to capital ratio of 50%, and the weighted average cost of capital is 10%. And we already have kind of narrowed this down to, we need to look at this total debt to total capital ratio. So right now we have debt of five, equity of 15, and a total of 20. In option one, when we issue $15 million of debt, what happens is we're going to move to $20 million of debt, $15 million of equity, so $35 million in total, and that $20 million of debt, when we're looking at $35 million of total capital, that means our debt ratio is 57%. So if our debt ratio is 57% of our total capital, option one's not allowed. We can't do option one. So if we go back to our choices, we already knew that B was wrong, and now we can cross off A, because even if the weighted average cost of capital is 7.72%, which it very well could be, we still can't choose option one because we're not going to meet that debt to total capital ratio. So right now we've already kind of identified that C is going to be the correct answer, but let's go back and, and look at option two and do that math as well. Again, we've got the $5 million of debt, the $15 million of equity. This time we're going to add $15 million to equity so we're going to have $30 million of equity, again, still $35 million total capital. And now debt's only 5, or 5 million of that. So clearly we know it's less than 50%. And it's actually 14% is what the debt is going to be. So if we go back and we look here at the equity to total capital ratio will be 86%. Well, that was choice C and we've already kind of eliminated all of the other choices. And so choice C is correct. And so this is a question that they give us two criteria. There's that weighted average cost of capital and there's this whole debt to total capital ratio. And just by looking at the costs of the debt, the cost of the equity, the new debt, the new equity, we know that all the weighted average cost of capital, we didn't calculate them, we didn't need to, all those weighted average costs of capital would, would be less than 10%. So the criteria, the choice between option one and option two, or both of them, comes down to this question of the total debt to the total capital ratio. And once we narrow it down to that, we did the math, and we see that option two is the only option that would be allowed because it's the only option that allows the total, cap, total debt to total capital ratio to be less than the 50% that it is required to be according to these criteria set forth by the company. So Choice C, option two, because the equity to total capital ratio will be 86%, is the correct answer for this question.